Abigail Breslin is America's favorite child star who made history with being one of the youngest actresses nominated for an Oscar. Do you remember which role brought her this honor? Of course you do, because that is all we talk about when it comes to Abigail, though now she no longer is a little girl. She is already an adult woman showing up on our screen, but I believe her face hasn't changed one bit. Do you know how her acting career began, or if becoming that popular as a little kid got into her head or not? Or what trauma was she struggling with for years, and why she decided to finally open up about it? Stay with me to find all of that out. Abigail Kathleen Breslin was born on April 14th of 1996 in New York. She was given the name Abigail because her parents wanted to honor the first lady of the US, Abigail Adams. Her mother, Kim, is a talent manager, while her father, Michael, is a telecommunications expert, computer programmer, and consultant. Because of her mother's profession, when little Abigail entered showbiz, her mother managed her career. Abigail has two older siblings, Ryan, who is 11 years older than her, and Spencer, who, as you might know, is also trying his hand in acting, is four years older. And as you might have guessed, Abigail's siblings are not as successful as their sister. Now let's focus on Abigail alone. Do you know how Abigail started her career when she was only three years old? Let me tell you the story of that. Abigail's first appearance on a TV screen was when she appeared in a Toys R Us commercial at the age of three. Although there was not too much to do and many chances to show her talent in a commercial, as we already know, it was enough for Abigail to get noticed for her talent and she was comfortable with being on the set in front of cameras cooperating with others. Soon after, the potential of the five-year-old Abigail was noticed by a director who wanted her in his new project. And that is how she made her debut in the science fiction thriller Signs on the big screen alongside Mel Gibson and Joaquin Phoenix while the child actor who accompanied her was Macaulay's younger brother Rory Culkin. This film was well received and was a great box office success. Little Abigail won recognition and success among filmmakers and it granted her the first nomination for Best Performance in a Feature Film Young Actress Age 10 or Under at the 2003 Young Artist Award. Since then, she has constantly appeared in various productions. In 2004, as an 8-year-old, she appeared in several films, but the most popular one was the drama Raising Helen, the story of three siblings who, after the death of their parents, are taken care by their aunt, played by Kate Hudson. And in the movie, Abigail's sister was Hayden Panettiere, and her brother was her real-life brother Spencer Breslin. In 2006, Little Breslin played her breakthrough role as a child actress. The comedy drama Little Miss Sunshine brought her many prestigious awards and nominations, including Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actress. Interestingly, Breslin was cast for the movie at the age of six, years before the filming started, and her performance was highly praised. She was compared to the famous child stars such as Dakota Fanning and even Drew Barrymore, of course when she was a child actress. And even though she did not receive the award because Jennifer Hudson took that one home, Abigail's name went down in history as one of the youngest Oscar-nominated actresses. What's more is that at the same gala, along with Jaden Smith, she co-presented an award in a different category and their duo delighted the audience. The beautiful thing about Abigail's role in the movie Little Miss Sunshine is that she admitted that she loved this movie, especially because it's a piece of her story and it always will be. With the huge success of Little Miss Sunshine came many other opportunities for this beautiful and talented actress. And luckily, thanks to her talent, she was not labeled as an actress who only played one stereotyped role. That was how she was able to leave the role that brought her to fame in the past. Her brilliant film career helped the 11-year-old Breslin to take one of the highest places on the list of highest earning young Hollywood stars according to Forbes magazine in 2007. Her net worth was calculated at about $1.5 million and of course, as time goes by, her earnings only got better and currently her fortune is worth $16 million. Well, now we know about the first children's roles that brought her recognition and fame, but what came next? In her teenage years, Abigail was very active when it came to her profession. She continuously performed alongside great stars, appearing in many different productions, such as Nim's Island with Jodie Foster and Gerard Butler. Definitely, maybe with Ryan Reynolds, the movie drama My Sister's Keeper with Cameron Diaz, and August, Osage County with Meryl Streep and Julia Roberts. In the last mentioned production, she competed for the role with Chloe Grace Moretz. 
Abigail has been captivating the hearts of many directors for years and she has become a sought after actress in the film industry. Most of the productions with her in it collect many favorable reviews which gives her a better reputation, many nominations and film awards. Breslin is an actress who is often praised for her ability and readily absorb problematic roles, build natural looking bonds without appearing fake or any exaggeration. She is a true artist. Unlike so many child stars, Abigail did not stop her career. She turned from a child actress to an actual star, entered adulthood. She took part in more serious productions. She confessed that the transition from a child star to a more mature actress in her case went extremely smoothly. She played the main role in the movie Maggie along with Arnold Schwarzenegger. She was also cast in the production of Scream Queens. Although the series was only two seasons, thanks to the cast packed with well-known names and themes combining elements of black humor, the horror, and the mysterious crime story was remembered by many viewers. The screen stars were Jamie Lee Curtis, Emma Roberts, Leia Michelle, Kiki Palmer, and even the singer Ariana Grande, and even Nick Jonas. Today, the 23-year-old Abigail Breslin has had over 30 roles in large productions and has also lent her voice to animated characters. I must admit that this girl has not been sitting still. Do you see her ever resting during her career? Like she had any time to live a normal life of an actual teenager? Well, she skillfully reconciled the work and learning. Abigail feels a great belonging to New York, where she was born and raised. It was in New York that she had a chance to spend some of her time like an ordinary teenager, doing normal things with her friends, forgetting about her showbiz duties and commitments. But what do you think it's like growing up in front of millions of people watching you? Well, certainly it's not easy. However, it seems like all of the most difficult experiences that she had gone through saved her from falling into bad company or drugs. Breslin confessed that her family really made sure that despite her fame, she would keep a normal life. When she returned home from the set, she was forbidden to talk about work because it was family time and time to completely mundane and normal things a teenager would do. Today, Abigail credits her house and proper upbringing that helped her with everything and stopped her from getting into normal showbiz child stars problems. Unfortunately, even for a girl this great, life is never quite perfect. Even Abigail has had quite difficult experiences behind her, and in 2017, on her Instagram account, Abigail confessed that once she was a victim of assault. She did not talk about her trauma for several years, nor did she inform the police about this incident. She confessed that she did not report the case because she knew her attacker. It was her ex-boyfriend, and she was afraid of both him and the fact that due to the circumstances that no one would believe her. She never revealed the name of that person. For a long time, she pretended that nothing had happened so that not to hurt her family and her friends. And after years, however, she decided to open up about it. Breslin admitted that after this tragic event, she was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, and she had been struggling with it for a long time. The traumatic event had left a mark on her. She had nightmares and was scared of the touch of other people. Her brave confession coincided with the promotion of her new Dirty Dancing 2017 film in which the actress played the role of Baby Houseman. This talented actress also manifests musical talent, and as a teenager, she created a lot of songs that mostly concern love affairs. She confessed then that, despite what she does on film sets, she really is just a teenager, so it's logical that the boys and their emotions go through her head. She even released an album with the single, You Suck. After the release of this single, fans speculated that the lyrics were about Michael Clifford, a member of the Australian band Five Seconds of Summer she was dating before. Currently, the actress has been sharing a happy life with her best friend and boyfriend with whom she has been with for two years. Abigail has kept her life private for a long time, but sometimes she shares some photos with her lover on Instagram. Abigail's man also accompanies her during various events, but he is not associated with the entertainment industry like her. Earlier in 2013, the young actress was spotted with Jack Barricat from the band All Time Low and then with the actor Tom Sturridge and later Michael Clifford. But it seems like she has found full happiness alongside her current partner. Who knows, maybe they will get married. What do you think? 
Less than a month ago, Abigail attended the premiere of the movie Zombieland, Double Tap alongside Emma Stone, Woody Harrelson, and Jesse Eisenberg. And in 2020, the film Stillwater will be released, in which Breslin will be playing the leading role alongside Matt Damon. Despite her ongoing and growing career, Abigail is different from most young stars. In Hollywood, she never felt at home. New York will always remain in her heart. It can be said that Breslin has spent her entire almost 20-year career avoiding the risks associated with the world of the artistic industry. She also avoids many Hollywood events. She basically appears where she has to be because of the works that she's worked on. What do you guys think about Abigail Breslin's way of living? Do you think avoiding is the best way to stay healthy in showbiz? Let's talk about that in the comments and remember to become part of our Curious Tips family by subscribing to our channel. Until next time!